football on the continent. That is it. That is the final whistle. South Africa, after five attempts, have finally claimed glory in the Women's Africa Cup of Nations final. They achieve immortality as they claim their first title in the WAFCON. Morocco are defeated for the first time in the tournament. South Africa march on, but Morocco outmatched, outclassed, outplayed. South Africa out of this world. They are champions for the first time. Machaya's brace and Ayane's consolation goal ultimately. The three goals scored in the second half, but it is delight and glory and cheer and joy, celebration and elation for South Africa. But feel for Morocco playing in front of their home crowd. They are crestfallen, they are crushed, they are disconsolate. Linda Mutlalo and Israel is celebrating. Andy Letlamini and Jermaine Supersigma is celebrating together. But tonight, one needed to win. And for the other, there was going to be pain of finishing second in a tournament at which they have been absolutely superb. Neither one of these sides you could argue were not deserving of the title had they won but tonight is South Africa's night and they will celebrate long and hard after this victory Best goalkeeper of the tournament Andile goes to South, South Africa's Africa. Andile Dalmini. Andile Dalmini from Janoub Ibriqia. Ahsan Harissa in this tournament. The Africa She conceded three goals in this tournament, but they were all sterling strikes and capable of beating any keeper. Andy Litlamini, who went the entire inaugural CAF Women's Champions League without conceding a goal through qualification and indeed through the final tournament. He's your goalkeeper of the tournament. And list of VIPs, Flamini with a hug from uh, Danny O'Dan. The head of SAFA, South African Football Association. And she will return. The national team of the year. The award goes to Janou Ibrikia. South Africa. The women's national team of the year. It was an award that forms part of the CAF Awards. It was set to be announced at the end of this match. And indeed, South Africa are the team that has claimed the title. It would be decided at the end of this match and South Africa. Can we have a representative from South Africa? We'll collect the trophy. Women's national team of the year. Trophy collected by Danny O'Dan. Fawzi Lekja there, the head of the Royal Moroccan Football Federation. For the individual award of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, we present you the Total Energy Women of the Tournament. Ahsan Laiba, Phil Boutoula, Rizlan Shibak, Milan Marek. Well, for Morocco, there is some oh, consolation. Oh. Gislan Shabak has been named as the player of the tournament, and she is warmly applauded by the South Africans as well. She has had a phenomenal tournament. She has led Morocco with aplomb. She has played brilliantly. She has been astonishing at times. She's been eye-catching, and she has inspired not just her side, but a generation in Morocco. I cannot overemphasize the positive impact that this performance by Morocco has had on the actual acceptance of the game in Morocco and beyond. It is extraordinary and Shibak has been very much at the center of it. She is the player of the tournament.
دعونا نرحب سيداتي سادتي بحكام ومراقب المباراة النهائية من كأس أمم إفريقيا توتال إنرجيز المغرب 2022 Let us welcome on the podium the match officials of the Total Energies Wild Fund, Morocco 2022 The finals. officials will be awarded with their commemorative medals for officiating in this final, led by Salima Mukusanga, who is off to Qatar 2022, where she will officiate uh, the World Cup. She and her entire team, Minisin Agata Iore of Nigeria, Fantakone of Mali, Maria Rive of Mauritius, Mervat Sadig of Sudan, Haitem Girat led the video assistant referee team and included Ahmed El Gandur and Ahmed Hussam Taha Ibrahim of Egypt. سيداتي سادتي مع تسليم الميداليات الفضية للمنتخب المغربي الذي احتل الرتبة الثانية في كأس توتال انرجيز المغرب 2022 Making their way up to collect their silver medals are the individuals from Morocco led up by Gislan Shiri They've all played a part, and a magnificent part at that, in helping Morocco towards a first final. It's the first time they've gone out of the group stages at this tournament. They hosted the tournament superbly, and indeed much expectation on the shoulders of these players as they made their way out for the final. This was to be their night, but ultimately falling short against South Africa. Khadija Ermici, the goalkeeper will get us now. Eva Alis, among those collecting the medal. Fatima Dahmos collects her medal. There's Ermici, being congratulated by the CAF president. Behind her, reserve goalkeeper in Hind Hasnoi, not part of today's match squad. Moroccan players make the slow walk. Hanan Eid El Hajj collecting her medal. So too Aziza Raba. A smile on the face of Fozi Lekja, proud of what his side has managed to achieve. Iman Saud collect her medal. Nisrin El Shad. And this Moroccan side distinguished themselves and they played with purpose. And who's to say they weren't deserving of the title? But on the evening, they would lose. Yasmin Mrabet, Sanam Suri, Rosella Ayan. And at the uh, very end, the captain, Gislan Shebak, the player of the tournament, and head coach, Reynold Pedros. Who's done an extraordinary job with this team. Long may it continue. The technical staff on the side also collecting their medals. Rosella Ayan scored what would be the consolation goal in this final. Well, they can be immensely proud of what they've achieved here, Morocco. They finished second. And they have qualified for the FIFA World Cup. The FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia, New Zealand. But now for the gold medalists. And now the gold medals for the champions of the Total Energies Women Africa Cup of Nations Morocco 
2022. They are finishing this tournament as they arrived. Jovial, in good spirits and in song. South Africa are Janu champions Ifritia. and will receive their gold medals. First up, Bamanani Mbani, Nuku Matlo, who has been through a host of finals at his seventh tournament, is finally a champion. Kunga Gagamene, Riga Lungobeni, Kaelin Swartz, among those collecting their medals. South this Africa has been a successful championship. South Africa have won six games out of six, and, and, and they claim the gold medal as a result. Amukalang Mutau, Robin Mudli, Moale is back. Amanda Tlamini, I've got to get your take on the performance of South Africa, and ultimately, what would be a successful campaign as they collect their gold medals. I think the South Africans have shown great consistency throughout the tournament. They've applied this themselves in the group stages, going out through to quarterfinals and semifinals, just making sure that they embrace the changes, they, they embrace the challenges that they were faced with. Obviously, certain elements like goal scoring are some of the areas that they can certainly work on as they will be preparing for the World Cup. But also, just Coach Desri and the technical team, ensuring that they infuse more of the local talent from South Africa, as well as international players who I think have really done well in their respective clubs. This is not only just a victory for Banyana Banyana, but a massive, massive victory for women's football back in South Africa. Around the continent as well, there is a first time champion here. It is South Africa over host nation Morocco. But there are clearly new kids on the block, to use the phrase. Desraelis collects her gold medal. She's so dearly and desperately wanted. Desraelis, who grew up in Hanover Park, with very little, and has managed to achieve a second qualification for the FIFA Women's World Cup, and indeed a first Women's Africa Cup of Nations crown. Medals being dished out to members of the technical staff. A few players who wait to collect their medals, including Andile Tlamini and Janine van Veik, I can tell you. Who's earned a mammoth 181 international caps in her glittering career that spans nearly 20 years. Kaelin Swart at the very center, getting ready to celebrate. Final moments before the trophy is presented to the winning captain. Andile Lamini gets her gold medal, but the last to receive her gold medal is South Africa's Rafilo Gianni, who wore the captain's armband, the AC Milan player in Italy, whose time is coming to an end at the club. Janine van Beek is the squad captain, Rafilo Gianni, captain on the night. Andy Litlamini is there as well. The CAF president, Dr. Patrice Mutsepe, is inviting the other dignitaries, including Fama Samora, the first general secretary of FIFA, secretary general of FIFA from Africa. Trophy presented to South Africa. Their character so severely tested through guts they have achieved glory. Your champions of the Women's Africa Cup of Nations, Morocco 2022, South Africa. A moment to celebrate, a moment to savor. South Africa are champions. They have achieved.
achieved the unprecedented. They have set new parameters of what is capable. They believed in the impossible and they have achieved a dream. Finally, has it in her grasp at his seventh tournament. For Morocco, still despair, but they can celebrate in what has been a phenomenal achievement, having changed opinions and thoughts. Israel is celebrates, but this is South Africa's night. They are champions for a first time. And they have believed in the impossible and achieved their dream.